What is going on guys, Greg Oles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you my most used and regular settings that I have set in GoodLock. GoodLock is an exclusive app to Samsung Galaxy phones that lets you customize and take control in a lot of ways with it. Now, the way you'll download it if you don't already have it is you'll open up your Galaxy Store. Open up the Galaxy Store, and once that store opens, go to the search over to the right and search for GoodLock. It's a free app and it has a bunch of modules inside of the app. So make sure you download and install this app. Once you have it downloaded and installed, just hit open. And if there's a module in here, because there's multiple modules, you can see all of these right here. You also go to family and there's more modules as well. So if you want a module that's not already installed, just tap on it and you would hit install at the bottom. And then you can access it from uh, the GoodLock app again. Just open up the GoodLock app once you have it installed and you see the module downloaded and installed. So let's jump into my most used features that I have in here and the things that I like to use the most. So first let's go over to Family tab at the bottom here and go into Sound Assistant. Inside of Sound Assistant, I love the control media volume. I turn that on. What that means is no matter when I press my volume, on the right here, it's always gonna control my media, like the music I'm listening to or uh, the videos or whatever. It's always, that's gonna be by default what it controls the most. Now, if I'm in the middle of a phone call, okay, yeah, it'll control the phone call volume, but everything else, anywhere else, it's going to control the media volume. So let's go back to the main screen of GoodLock and tap on unit at the bottom. <laughs> unit. Go into the home app module. In home app, home up, I should say, uh, the first thing that I do if I go into home screen is loop pages. So I turn that on, you can loop pages in home and apps. So for instance, if on my apps page, I can you know, be, basically be infinite when I'm looping through this. It's not gonna stop at the last page and I have to go all the way back. It just loops from the first to the last and all the way through. I like it, it's more of a convenience thing more than anything, obviously. Uh, but for me, it's very, very helpful to have that turned on loop pages and that will work with home and apps. It'll work in home if you have this turned off, which is the uh, like the Samsung free or Google discover what you have, whatever you use. So watch, you can see now it goes to there and it flips back and it'll cycle through. But again, you have to have that first page turned off the Samsung free thing. Let's go back to the main screen of the home app app and the next thing that I love in here is the task changer. If you tap on that, I like grid, but I also like some of these other ones like vertical list, but grid is really cool because it looks like this basically. When you look at it, you see a bunch of apps all at once. Instead of just one single app, you see, I see six apps and it's just a quick and easy way to, you know, tap on an app and get into it and, you know, not have to really look around. If I want to look at the ones to the left, I can still do that as well. The other things I have turned on in task changer that are really important to me are under detail settings. And those are the, I have search bar and recommended apps. So when I press that recent apps button, it's gonna show a search at the top right that I can easily search my phone. And then also most recent used, used apps on here are recommended apps that I can just jump into really quick as well. Not just opened apps, but again, recommended and recent apps. Go back to the main screen of GoodLock and next go into Multistar. Now that you're in Multistar, the next thing to do in here is quick launch of the multi-window. Turn that on so that when you long press the recent apps button, it automatically jumps into multi-screen mode. It's a really quick and easy way to do that. So I love that, I think that's fantastic. And then also within here, I like this enable multi-window to all apps. By turning that on, that allows you to go multi-window in any app that you have, including Instagram like you saw just a moment ago. Because by default, Instagram will not go multi-app unless you are able to uh, turn that on. You can see I'm multi-app right now. So very, very cool stuff that I'm able to do that just because I turned that on. Now there's a bunch of other stuff in here. A lot of it's customizations. Um, you know, for the lock screens, for your quick toggles and things like that to change the colors and all that kind of stuff, to go in here and create a theme for your phone, Keys Cafe, which changes the Samsung keyboard. There's a lot of that stuff. 
For me, it's not a necessity. Uh, for you, it might be, but ultimately, the ones that I showed you are the ones that I think are really cool to have and, and very functional as well. The other ones, again, are just more customizations, but maybe you love them. And if you do, let us know in the comments down below what you absolutely love about that Good Lock app and what's your must used ones in there as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.